Howdy champs, my name is Mohidan People. Today I'm going to talk about library items in Dreamweaver. Now, I need to give you an analogy so that you can understand things a lot better. Let me show you something. Okay. Now, think about uh, file synchronization uh, services uh, like SugarSync, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box.com, Copy.com, my favorite copy that gives you 5 GB per referral. 15 GB on a sign up. If you sign up using a referral, you get actually 20 GB plus 2 GB to tweet that gives you a whopping 22 GB upfront. That's awesome. Anyways, so what do these all file synchronization or cloud storage uh, solutions actually do? Now, their primary purpose is to keep a set of files and folders mirrored across multiple computers or devices. If you modify or add a file on one device, it will be uploaded and downloaded appropriately so that an identical file appears on all machines. Cloud storage is simply a term to, uh, that refers to online space that you can use to store and manage your data. It's also known as online storage or a virtual device. Now, the only reason why I'm talking about these file synchronization services or storage services is because <coughs> the library items in Dreamweaver more or less behave just the same way. Okay, I think things will become uh, a lot clearer. Uh, as I proceed but just keep the word sync or synchronization in your mind when we talk about library items okay first things first let me click out here where it says more click on the word library item I'm gonna create a library item you can also call it a master item the original item so whenever the changes happen out here it will be reflected across all the pages people again things will become much more clear very soon and notice out here next to the files uh, tab we have the assets tab and the icon down out here is the library item anyways so I'm gonna create my first library item I already have a code written that I'm gonna push in out here then I'm gonna explain the code to you okay now the code says uh, if I go to the live view it will become much more clear my website uses CSS3 library, liberally and uh, your best advice not to use outdated browsers Please visit http colon forward slash forward slash filehippo.com to upgrade in case you must. Okay. I've used some inline style to style it people. I've used color wheat and background color pound sign triple two. I've used the display property inline block uh, so that the background is not spread over the entire width. Okay. And then I've used uh, the color ghost white for the uh, hyperlink filehippo.com. Alrighty. So this chunk of code is uh, then is going to become a reusable the moment I'm going to save it as a library item. I'm going to say file save and I'm going to push it inside the library folder make sure you do that I'm going to give it a name let's say alert or whatever I'm going to save it okay so people you can see that it's saved under the extension LBI it gets saved in self, uh, itself in the library folder and the uh, alert file appears out here Okay, under the assets tab in the library tab it appears out here okay now this becomes a reusable chunk of code people I'm gonna show to you very soon what it actually means okay alright so I'm gonna say file new now I'm gonna create three pages okay so let me create the first page file save I'm gonna call it page one Okay, it already exists over right. Yes, that's okay. Uh, while I was testing, uh, I actually created the page. Let me give it a title to say page one. Save. Alrighty. So let me just collapse this bit of code, beat people, and now I'm gonna push in the library item. Before that, let me tell you this is not the only way you can actually create library items. I could have gone out here, clicked on the plus button, making sure that I'm in the assets tab the library I can click on the plus button okay give a name to the uh, you know the library item let's say marquee or whatever and then people I could have clicked on the edit button to create one more library item like this so marquee okay marquee I'm gonna move or whatever code you would want to insert you can see another library item has actually been created I'm gonna say save okay so we have two library items now 
Beg your pardon. I'm gonna move. Okay, let's get back to the HTML document. Making sure that the cursor is blinking inside the body text people, I'm gonna bring in the first library item using this insert button. The library item has been inserted. You see some kind of a um, highlight effect that's actually not gonna appear on the actual page people. If I go to the live view, this is the way it'll actually appear. All right. And in the comments, you can actually see the library item begins and out here, ends out here. So these comments have been auto inserted too, along with the yellowish highlight. So that's just a way of letting you know that's actually a library item. Okay, let me say file save again. Let me insert one more page. Say new. I wish to have the library item appear on all pages of my website, people. Okay, making sure I'm inside the body tags. I'm gonna push in the same library item again. Give it the page title, page two. I'm gonna save it under the name page two now. Page two. Okay, it already exists. I'm gonna overwrite it. That's fine. Okay, similarly, I'm gonna have one more page going. Create. Okay, so collapse this bit of code. Get in the same library item in. Okay, file. And page 3 as the title out here. Okay, I'm gonna say save all this time. So I'm gonna give it the name page3.html. Already exists. While I was testing for this tutorial, I'm gonna overwrite it. That's all fine. So now, people, whether it's page 2, 1, or 3, okay. Um, page 1, 2 or 3, they all contain the same library item. Okay, as you can very clearly see out here in the live view. Let me in fact show you a preview for page number 3, which will mirror page number 1 and 2 as well. Okay, okay so you can actually see I would want this message to appear, maybe anywhere, maybe it's a footer, maybe it's a header, maybe it's a menu, or maybe it's just a message like mine that you would want to appear on all pages of your website. Okay and this is the way it's gonna appear for page 1 and 2 as well because it's the same library item reusable chunk of code that I've used on all three pages now I'm gonna go back to alert.lbi okay which is the main or the master or the original call it whatever I'm gonna make some change out here in fact let me make two changes out here instead of saying my website I'm gonna say www.qualitylessons.net and uh, for the anchor tag with the style color is ghost white I'm gonna turn it to just white okay rather yeah I think white is fine okay I'm gonna say file save and the moment I do that people notice uh, there's an alert which says that since the library item is lying on all the three pages do you want the changes to mirror across all the three pages obviously yes that's the very reason I created a library item so next I can say close now people all the three pages let me say save all should reflect the change yes people this is actually white now you can be absolutely sure if you go to the code area inline code that is inline style that is okay it's actually turned white and my website is now www.qualitylessons.net should be there on all the three pages qualitylessons.net similarly on the third page too it says qualitylessons.net okay so the changes that are made with the main library file have been uh, carried forward to all the three pages okay let me be on page number three let me show you one more option okay let me go over the live view first to make any changes people you can't be in the live view select the library item like so and go down out here in the uh, properties pane of the panel and click the button detach from original now think about cloud storage services people whatever change you make to your file on one device will be mirrored across all the de devices that's called synchronization but then you can have just one device come off the sync that's called selective sync so people who you know work with Dropbox or work with the sugar sync box.com copy.com actually understand what I'm trying to say sync only certain folders or files you can absolutely do that similarly I can detach it from the original or the master okay so once I do that it says if you make this item editable it will no longer be possible to automatically update it when the original changes that's exactly what I want to do if in case I want to do that 
and I'm going to say OK. The moment I do that, people notice the comment which used to say library item begins here, ends here, has actually disappeared. It's just a normal piece of text now. Let me say uh, save all. Now, obviously, if I update the library item alert.lbi, the changes won't be reflected on the third page because it's been detached from the, you know, the uh, main LBI file. Okay. So what's it? Let's make some change out here. Instead of saying, um, instead of uh, saying quality lessons, let's let's make some change. Um, instead of saying file hippo.com. Um, Okay, no. The only change that I'm gonna make it in case you must do it. Just add two more words out here, and then a dot dot dot. That's all. Just to you know have some change reflect. Pushing in some extra bit of text. Say save this time. People notice the alert this time says that uh, do you want to update page one and two only, not the third page. Quite intelligently, so I'm gonna say update. Since the third page was actually detached from the original, the you know now the changes. Let's say save all will be reflected across page one. In case you must do it, as you can very clearly say out here, in case you must do it on page number two, but page number three will not reflect the change since it was detached from the original. Okay, now I'm going to show you a third option. Let me go to page number two and making sure that the library item is actually selected. Let me come to the live view. Select the library item like so. This gets highlighted. There's a word called word uh, you know there's a tab called recreate recreate the library item why should one recreate the library item it's already there in my uh, assets tab under the uh, library icon why should I recreate just in case uh, for whatever reason it gets deleted accidentally it gets lost you can recreate it let's say let me uh, you know deliberately delete this are you sure you want to delete? Yes, deliberately I'm doing it. If I select the library item on the web page and I hit the recreate button, people you can see it actually reappears back in the uh, assets pane under the library icon. Okay, so in case it gets accidentally lost, destroyed, whatever, you know, this is the way to actually restore the library item. It's called re recreate the library item. All right, people. So people, in a nutshell, library items work just like cloud storage services that allow you to sync your files across different devices, maybe your Android, maybe your smartphone. The changes you make on your desktop get, can get reflected across your laptop or your Android phone. And uh, whatever changes you make to the master get reflected all across. You can do a selective sync. I'm sure you know about that. Okay, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to talk about cloud storage services just for a moment. Okay, I've, I'm, I've been using copy.com, SugarSync, Google Drive, and Dropbox. And people, all of them are quite smart uh, in their own way. Uh, Google Drive uh, is amazing but gives you just 5 uh, GB upfront. Beyond that, you need to buy SugarSync, Dropbox, allow you referrals through which you can, you know, accumulate uh, more uh, extra space. So that's that's really nice. But Copy.com, a new service, is <laughs> outrageously liberal. It uh, is generous. It gives you 5 GB, not 500 MB, as a bonus. Dropbox and SugarSync allow just 500 MB as a referral. Dropbox has 16 GB upper limit by way of referrals. Uh, SugarSync doesn't have an upper limit by way of reference, but they give you just 500 MB. Um, but copy, if you sign up using a referral link, if somebody refers you to uh, copy.com, you get 5 uh, GBs, not 500 MBs, as you get with Dropbox or SugarSync people. That's awesome. So uh, you'll get 15 GB plus 5 GB. Uh, if you click on a referral link, you accept that service plus 2 GB to tweet about the love that you have for copy.com. It's an awesome, awesome service, people. Works just like Dropbox, SugarSync, or Google Drive, or SkyDrive of uh, Microsoft. So, people, among all these services, you know, I, I find Google Drive is uh, a little different. Uh, it's quite cheap to get the paid service, right? So all these are cloud-based services people, but copy at the moment, at the moment, since it is raining gigabytes, stands out, alright? So people, I hope you uh, liked the information, enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope to see you very soon, won't I? Have a good day, bye-bye, peace.